Uh, thank you. Well, my name is R. Joshua Collins, founder of Homeless Advocates for Christ. That's on Facebook for those that are interested. Um, and first, I'd like to give uh, uh, just a little encouragement for everyone to get the life of Jesus Christ who died for us on the cross. The only way for salvation, our only hope. We've all sinned. We all need a Savior. And Jesus shed his blood for us to give us eternal life. So um, uh, with that, uh, I'd also like to talk about the homeless issue. Uh, Unfortunately, I just found out that a woman in the back here named Amanda, she's in a wheelchair back there. She got exited from the Salvation Army, and I've seen her for quite a few days now. Uh, she's been sleeping outside in front of the library downtown. Um, but I'm just concerned about the fact that um, it doesn't sound, sound like she did anything too serious to be exited, and there wasn't really uh, another you know, uh, exit plan for her other than just the streets. So. I, I've heard good things about the Salvation Army, really good things from a lot of the homeless. So, um, but this kind of shocked me. So I'm just kind of curious. I mean, I think it'd be a, a good idea to have maybe some kind of exit review board or more uh, exiting guidelines to make sure that people in these shelters that are getting exited are exited properly or, or at least give another option. Um, I mean, this could obviously be some kind of lawsuit, who knows, but. Uh, she's disabled, so when you, especially when you exit a disabled person uh, in a wheelchair, she has a lot of back issues and things like that. Kind of, kind of, of course, going to bring a lot of concern for, for all of us. We, and we've been trying to get, you know, in contact with CityNet and all that, and they haven't found a bed for her still. So, um, of course, me and a lot of the advocates are, are kind of concerned about that situation. So, uh, maybe you guys can figure out something to help her. I think that'd be really wonderful. You know, it says the city of kindness, and but I, I don't, I don't understand that. I guess is uh, it seems like a, a lot more could be possibly done for her. Uh, a lot of money, a lot of money in this city, um, and, and I'm also, of course, uh, regarding item number 16. I'm, I'm very much in support of that. Uh, of course, the low-income housing. We need a lot more of that. A lot more supportive housing. So uh, I really uh, encourage you guys to move forward with that especially uh, considering SB 1380 and all the information with that, but I can't talk about all that right now, but maybe some already know. But um, anyways, uh, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Dwayne Roberts. I live at 2276 Cold Junction Drive. First, uh, I support item number seven on the agenda for the board. I'd like to see after the California so friends uh, please do share the video do join homeless advocates for Christ on Facebook pray for these homeless people uh, the woman here is homeless She's in a wheelchair and we have her here today I'm going to go over here right now but uh, I'll let you guys see her real quick Anyways, let's pray for her to get the help she needs. Thanks for your prayer support, and may God bless you as you seek first kingdom. Bye bye.